Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. The latest optional bug fix preview update for Windows 10 KB5011831 is now available and started rolling out on the 25th of April 2022. And this update is for Windows 10 versions 21H2, 21H1 and 20H2. And just a quick heads up, if you are still running version 20H2, it's going to be reaching its end of service and support next month on the 10th of May. So make sure uh, that you just update before uh, the 10th of May uh, to a newer version of Windows 10 to carry on receiving important cumulative updates for your Windows 10 device. Now, as always, if you'd like to see if you have this latest optional bug fix preview update, just head to your settings menu, update and security. And this is where you will find the update listed as an optional bug fix update. Now, as I have posted previously, and I always suggest with the optional updates that roll out near the end of every month, only install the update if you are experiencing any issues or problems on your Windows 10 operating system. If you are completely happy with the way your system is running, just ignore the update and leave the update alone as it is a preview update and most of the bug fixes will be rolling out in next month's compulsory automatic patch Tuesday update anyway. Now, if you do decide to install the update, once installed, you'll have to uh, restart your device. And if you are interested, you can just head over to uh, view update history where the update will be listed under other updates as cumulative update preview for Windows 10 KB5011831. And just remember, it's a preview update as mentioned previously. So uh, just ignore the update if you um, are completely happy with how your system is running. Now, just to mention some of the key highlights uh, for you from the release notes that Microsoft has highlighted for this latest bug fix update. And there are a lot of bug fixes uh, in KB5011831 that address numerous issues in Windows 10. Now, the first key highlight is Microsoft say they have updated an issue that caused the Internet Explorer web browser to stop working uh, for some users when they copied and pasted text using an input method editor, that's IME for short. Also, some users were getting a black screen when they signed in or signed out. That's been addressed. Uh, there was an issue that was causing Microsoft OneDrive files to lose focus after uh, users were renaming them and then pressing the enter key. That's been addressed. Uh, there was an issue where the news and interests feed and panel um, was appearing when users haven't hadn't uh, clicked, tapped or moused over it. Uh, that's been addressed. And then the last key highlight is there was an issue that prevented some users from changing their password um, that had already expired when they were signing into their Windows 10 device. Now, if you are interested, as mentioned, this does address a whole lot of issues uh, in the Windows 10 operating system. And the change log for 5011831 does list some other important uh, uh, issues that have been addressed. And I will just mention those for you quickly if you are interested. Now, Microsoft does uh, list one new feature where they say they have made improvements to the servicing of the secure boot components of Windows 10. And um, although this is a new feature, there are no visual changes to the actual look and feel of the Windows 10 operating system. And then if you are an enterprise uh, user, um, Microsoft say they have changed the timeout for Azure Active Directory re registration from 60 minutes to 90 minutes. And they've also addressed an issue where uh, the remote desktop session uh, could close on Windows 10 when attempting to reconnect it if it stopped responding. That has been addressed. And then a major bug, which I did mention uh, when this update was still in preview in the Windows uh, Insider program, uh, where some users were reporting that the uh, operating system of Windows 10 was taking sometimes up to 40 minutes to start up. So Microsoft say that with this update, they have fixed the startup delay of 40 minutes, that that issue has now been resolved. So that's a, a massive bug fix that I'm sure some users will be happy about that has been addressed. And then just to mention some others very quickly, that um, there was an issue that caused uh, Windows 10 to stop working when some users applied a Windows Defender application control policy, uh, an issue where Windows 10 was failing to copy the security portion of a group policy has been addressed. And they've also made changes to reduce uh, the graphics processing unit, that's GPU for short, uh, the load balancing um, of the GPU over remote desktop connections. And then there was an issue where the shift key up uh, event caused an issue with certain apps when 
um, users were using the Korean IME. And then another IME issue regarding the mode indicator um, has been addressed where that was displaying the wrong IME. And then the last bug fix um, to mention is uh, Microsoft say they've uh, addressed an issue where the virtual computer, computer object password setting didn't work properly for some users. So those are the issues, the key highlights that Microsoft say have been addressed and fixed with KB5011831. Now, after you have applied this update, uh, the uh, OS build now for Windows 10 version 21H2 will be 19044.1682. If you are running 21H1, that'll be 19043. And if you are still running 20H2, that'll be 19042. And then as always, um, there's also been improvements and updates to the servicing stack, which, the, which is the component that just keeps the Windows update uh, stable and rolling smooth and, and stable on your Windows 10 device. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.